Welcome back to DesignSmith. So I've been listening a lot to Oasis, specifically their past 90s era, and I have to say that I actually really do like a lot of the music that I'm hearing. I haven't listened to all of it yet. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as their first few albums, but I didn't feel like I was really that well-rounded with the band and all of their work as a whole. But everything that I'm hearing, I do like. I don't really get all of the hate for it, but it is very difficult to follow up albums like Definitely Maybe and Morning Glory. So I've been listening a lot to them lately and I've been wondering what would it be like if Oasis got back together and did a reunion tour? I think that would be monstrous. I'm reminded of the Eagles when they did their Hell Freezes Over album and the tour. So I'd like to do a poster with a similar tagline. And my favorite one that I've come up with is World Stand Still because very much similar to the likelihood that the Eagles would have gotten back together when they did, it's pretty much impossible that Oasis will do the same thing. So that phrase is what we'll be using for this poster, and I'm gonna be using Helvetica because that's what Oasis used for their branding. I'm gonna go in here to this poster that I recreated about a year ago and drop the logo in here, and we'll get it sized uh, appropriately here. Right now I'm doing an 18 by 24 inch size, and I think that'll work really well. Before I move any further, I think I'm gonna lay down some guides here. All right, that's looking good. I'm not gonna worry about creating columns and rows here. Okay, so sometimes I'm tempted to go all the way to the edges right here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that, mainly because this logo is so overpowering anyway. And I also wanna make sure that World Stand Still is very impactful. So I think 10 inches will be just fine right here. And I'm gonna go in here and just set this to optical kerning and see what that looks like. Pretty happy with that. I'll just make a few adjustments here. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this over here so I can pick it up later. And we will create outlines here. I'm gonna center this up. And our logo is 10 inches, so I think we will bring this up to about 14 inches here. And then at the bottom here, we'll put World Tour. And what the heck, we'll say World Tour 2024 through 20, whoa, 20,558. Okay, they're not going on tour for that long. I'm gonna change this to Global Tour, just because I don't want two worlds right next to each other. And I'll drop this image of them from the 90s because you see a lot of bands still using their promotional photos from the 90s. And obviously there's no current photo of all of them together. And I think I'll add a stroke around here to match their logo. And then select these and group them together. Looks good. And I'm going to set up a few text boxes right here because as we speak, I'm having AI generate some tour dates for our poster. Okay, I've got a couple of guides right here so we can set up a gutter right there. That looks good. And now I'll grab these two text boxes and link them together. So we're going to go up here to type, threaded text, and create. And now this box will flow into this box. And I've got our fake tour dates on my clipboard, so we're going to hit paste. And now we'll just align left and we'll just make a few adjustments here. And looking at this, we've got a lot of wasted space right here. So I think I'm gonna create four boxes instead. All right, this is looking a lot better and now we can make our text even larger. I'm gonna bring this up to probably about 13 points or so. This would be a good starting point. And I want to bring up the countries or the continents right here, make them a little bit larger. And we'll send Australia here to the next column. South America, we'll bring this up to 16 points. And now I'm just gonna adjust the sizing of all of the different ones here. I might try to see if I can squeeze these right here, United Kingdom and Australia together. We'll just take out one of the paragraph returns right there, that works. And then South America can be its own box. And then Europe can be over here. And we don't have any that are not being shown. All right, let's hide our guides now. Not your dates, tour dates. And we'll say tour dates here, tickets available at oasisnet.com. All right, this is looking really cool. Now let's take it into Photoshop and see what else we can do with it. Okay, for the most part, I'm actually pretty happy with the overall structure of this, but I do wanna add in a couple of effects here and there. I don't want it to be too heavy, but I also would like to do something with the British flag. That would be really cool. So I'm gonna see if I can find British flag abstract. Maybe I can find something there. It'd be really cool to see something maybe like this. That's kind of cool. Just copy the image there and lay this on top. We'll go through and get rid of these watermarks. I'm really just going in and getting rid of any glaring watermarks, but I'm not worrying about it too much because we're just making this for fun. It's not like Oasis is actually getting back together, and if they were, they wouldn't be hiring me to make their poster. All right, now let's try some blending modes here and see if we can do something just a little bit fun. That's kind of cool, but really way over the top. 
may have to do something where it's a normal blending mode and just send it to the back. I'm gonna go back into Illustrator here and see what we can do about possibly adding in some white areas to make it a little bit easier to see. So we'll just add a white square back here. And what if we did something like this where, let's go into our outline mode and just kind of put some general boxy type of shapes around here. That way they have something of a container. Maybe we can kind of grunge it up just a little bit. We could do like a cool overlapping thing right here. Let's take out that one and then just join these two together. And I feel like if we're gonna overlap more than one, then we should overlap all. All right, what I wanna do here is change these to a different color really quick just so we can see the effects. So I'm gonna go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. And it's not gonna be this much, we're just gonna do like a little bit. So bring up the detail on it. We'll take it from relative to absolute, so that way it's really nice and subtle. All right, we'll hit okay. And now we can color drop that white again. And now we'll save this, go back into Photoshop, and there we go, we've got those cool borders there. All right, I'm thinking that we'll go back in here and change all the text to white. Actually, let's make it near white so we can add some effects on top if we want. All right, I'm gonna select all these boxes here and do the same thing, that same white right there. All right, save it, go back into Photoshop. There we go, that is looking really cool. Okay, this photo needs a little bit of love, so let's take care of that. So I'm gonna copy this directly here into Photoshop. It's gonna handle the image a lot better than Illustrator's going to in terms of enlarging it and getting it looking good. So let's go in here. This is already looking a lot better than the pixelated nightmare that we have in Illustrator. And I don't think I'm gonna do a lot of fancy stuff with this photo. I'm just gonna add maybe like a posterize effect. It's kind of looking cool. And I actually like how it's applying it to the entire poster. We'll see how that works. May bring up the levels just a little bit more. And I think to go in and fix this, we'll go back into here and just add a background box around oasisnet.com and we'll do the same effect that we did for those boxes below. Send it to the back and then change this to near black. And we've got that posterized effect going on. And now I want to do something like a grain texture over everything. And then we'll change the blending mode to overlay. And now we'll add in a dust and scratches layer on top of this. Bring it all the way to the top. Let's center it and then rotate it and enlarge it to fill the entire poster. And then I always enlarge it just a little bit more, just so it goes a little bit past the canvas. And now we'll change our blending mode. Lighten is looking really cool. Gives it a really nice distressed effect. And now we'll do one last thing just to kind of make it look slightly aged, not too much, because obviously this is gonna be something that's a little bit more modern, but I want it to kind of have a little bit of a retro feel to it. Whenever paper ages, it becomes more yellow and orangish. So I kind of wanted to have that same feel. So we're just gonna change our blending mode to color, and then we'll bring down the opacity to about 20%. So you can see before and after, it just kind of gives it a little bit of an aged look. And here is our Oasis World Standstill Global Tour. This would be amazing if this actually happened. I don't think that we'll ever see the original lineup ever again, but if we did, oh, it would be amazing. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.